Okay, I'm going to do an example problem for dividing using partial quotients. So in this case, my example is going to be 126 divided by 2. So remember, when we're doing partial quotients, we want to extend this line out because this is going to help us keep track of our partial quotients on the right. And on the left, right under my division problem right there, I'm going to be taking big chunks or sections out of my dividend, subtracting them out as I go. So for example, right away I know that I can take out 100 from my dividend easily because I know that 2 times 50 will get me 100. So that's like saying... I am going to take out 50 groups of 2 out of my dividend. I want to eventually figure out how many groups of 2 I have in my entire dividend, 126. But so far I know that I have at least 50 groups of 2 in there. So once I've taken that out, I know that I still have 26 left to divide out. So I may not know right off the top of my head what 26 divided by 2 is, but I know I can take out another little portion. I can take out 20 because I know that 2 times 10 can get me 20. So now I've taken out 10 more groups of 2. I still have 6, though, to divide out. Well, I know that 2 times 3 can get me 6. So now I've divided out all the parts of my dividend. And off to the side on the right, I can clearly see what all the parts of my quotient are. First, I took out 50 groups of 2, then I took out 10 groups of 2, and then I took out 3 groups of 2. And if I add all of those up, I can see what my final answer is, what my final quotient is. So we have 63.